For us, the beginning of the school year will be not only the beginning of the school year, but the beginning of education in a whole new era called COVID-19. And that whole new era has never been experienced before. It's almost as if we are starting a colony on Mars, and that has never happened before either. But someone has to have the courage to get on that spaceship and go to Mars, and they're gonna start. We as a community, we have the courage. We're going to start on the first day, August 10th. Are we going to encounter some bumps in the road? Yes, we will. Are we going to uh, work through all of those challenges? Yes, we will. And we will do it so much better if everyone comes together and, and kind of put all the oars in the, in the water and row in the same direction. After students uh, disembark from the bus, every school has a, a certain door that bus riders walk through, so every school will be a little different. But once the students enter into the school, someone will be there to take their temperature. Each student will um, come in, have their temperature taken, and then exit to go to class. We will have sanitation stations in every single classroom. Uh, again, every school is a little different. Their configuration is different. Some schools will have sanitation sta stations in the front office. Other schools will have sanitation stations in the cafeteria, in the hallways. But the one thing that will be consistent uh, district-wide is every classroom will also have their sanitation pump. Uh, for hand sanitizer. And so once students get their temperature taken and they head to their classroom, once they enter the classroom, they have to also go through, again, another process of using hand sanitizer. Or for our primary students, they may actually go to their classroom and go to the sink and actually physically wash their hands using the uh, methodology of 20 seconds of washing with soap and water, then drying their hands, and they would then go to their seats or do whatever their teacher is requiring them to do for the, the beginning of the school day. Walking into our classrooms this fall, expect to see changes. We are not with our students 24 hours, seven days a week. But the time that we have them, we need to do everything that we possibly can to make our school safer and ensure that when they're going home, we've done a good job of helping them not take anything home to their families. Part of that strategy includes mounting these transparent screens to students' desks, as well as the personal protective equipment, or PPE, used by teachers, students, and staff. We've also taken another step by uh, protecting each desk or table where students are, are, are going to be seated and ensuring that teachers also have the PPE that they feel they need, such as face coverings or face shields. One, a face shield uh, protects not only your, your mouth, but it also protects your eyes and it's clear and you can see students and students can see you. In addition to having these barriers, we are still requesting that every classroom as much as, much as possible create a six foot distance between one desk to the other. However, when you're using these barriers, you can have desks a little bit closer and you can allow for students to have that cooperative learning opportunity by just arranging the desk so that the barriers are, are sort of facing each other. Uh, we have other options for our younger students. We know that they are more mobile, they move around the classroom, they want to sit on the carpet. Knowing that the learning experience for our younger students is more active, the district will be providing face shields for students from kindergarten to second grade. As a mom, I would clearly have some reservations in my own heart uh, knowing what what COVID-19 can do, but I would also have comfort level that the school district has taken extraordinary steps to ensure that they're trying to keep not only my child safe, but all the employees at those schools safe. We also felt we needed to put in another mitigating factor that would 
uh, do our best to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Therefore, students who are riding on the bus, when they enter the bus, they will be required to utilize hand sanitizer. When they are seated on the bus, they will be required to wear a facial covering because we cannot create that social distance of six feet.